smoking hot. Dude, come on, it's the dress. Oh, I was referring to me. I mean, but you look cute too. Nothing good happens after midnight. <laughs> I think she had one too many, and the thing about David, I know guys like David, um, he is such, he's such a charmer in the beginning, and um, a girl can't resist a guy who's funny, and a guy who's charming, and, and makes her feel special. And after one too many, and after midnight, I think she got caught up in it and was like, woo, let's have fun. Her love life was a roller coaster at that point, and she didn't really know what she was doing, so it was like, okay, let's get crazy, and I think she regretted it. You're the new manager? <laughs> I'm a manager here, too. <laughs> uh, seriously? And then, and then she really regretted it. <laughs> the BBA annual reception and fundraisers tonight, and we're both going. The BB what now? Business for a Better Atlanta. It's more than just a networking opportunity. It's a total game changer and a chance to take indulgence to the next level. Hustle, hustle hard. <laughs> 302 is about Raquel hustling hard. Um, Eve, who was her you know, partner and investor, drops out because of um, some other business opportunity for her. It leaves Raquel in a, in a tailspin. What is she gonna do? She's, she's already invested her entire life savings into the store. So she's gotta go out there and find an investor. Oh, I mean, you don't think these guys have any interest in your boutique, do you? Yeah, actually I do. Okay, just show of hands, which of you guys are here just to ogle the pretty girl? Gentlemen, gentlemen. No, 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 no. no. Wait. You know, it is really difficult. It is a, a, a very uh, heavily man impacted field. So, so, you know, trying to go out there and prove that you're on someone's same level, um, it's not difficult, but it's difficult to get people to kind of see what you're offering and take you seriously. In episode two, you see Omar playing football and he played football in high school and you, you do get to see that it was something that he dealt with because Omar was openly gay in high school as well and that's why he is where he is because he's learned to laugh it off. So when Nate comes along with his macho, oh, I'm a man and I'm gonna show this little sissy what it is, I think he finds out very quickly and very painfully that it doesn't work like that all the time. Listen, I know I can get a little competitive out there. You call this? a little competitive. Wanted to tell you how impressed I was with the out on the field. That sparks other things between Nate and Omar. I was wondering if you'd like to offer a drink. Well, like, on a date? We're confrontational, so you add the romantic element into that kind of relationship, and you got somebody who can stand up to you. I believe that makes a good match. <laughs>